In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Adjustment Brush Tool on Camera Raw. As you're working on optimizing the appearance of your photos, sometimes you want to apply an adjustment onto a specific area. The Adjustment Brush Tool allows you to do just that. To access the Adjustment Brush Tool, go to your tool set in the top of Camera Raw. It's the second brush on your right-hand side. The shortcut key is K. You'll see on the right-hand side uh, the different options for the adjustments that can take place from temperature all the way down to sharpness. As we scroll to the bottom, you can then make adjustments to your brush, such as size, feather, flow, and density. You can increase or decrease each of these settings. You can also use the shortcut keys, the square brackets, the right square bracket increases the size of your brush, the left square bracket decreases the size of your brush. If you hold the shift key and use those bracket keys, you can then increase and decrease the feathering that takes place. The solid circle in the center is the brush effect in its entirety. The dash circle is a feathering effect, so we're going to reduce the size of this brush. We're then going to make an adjustment to the sky. In order to do this so that we can see the effect that's taking place, we're going to go up to our exposure setting, decrease our setting to a very low number, make sure that we scroll down to the bottom, and Auto Mask is selected. At this stage, since we have the exposure at a very low setting, we don't need to show the actual mask. When we move over to the edge of the sky, we're then going to make sure that the crosshairs are in the areas that we want to have within our mask, which is the sky. We then just need to click and drag across that area and move that from one top of a building to the other. If, for instance, I drag too far into that building like I did at the bottom, we can then erase that selection by simply going to this section here, marked Erase. It would be the opposite effect, making sure that we then leave the crosshairs in that back area there. As you can see, we've made a selection on this edge. We want to make sure that we click back onto the Add selection and then continue with our process of continuing our selection of the sky. Once we've made a total selection of that, we can then go back and make adjustments as we see fit. So say for instance with our exposure setting we can then lower the exposure, make the sky a little bit darker. We can even change the temperature of the sky, maybe make it more of a lighter color here. In addition we can increase the, the highlights, the shadows, and just focus directly on the sky itself. As you can see this actual selection we've created what's called a pin. So we I'll move our cursor over the pin and that shows the actual adjustment that's taking place right there. In addition to making one selection, you can make additional selections. Click on the new selection here. We can then maybe brighten up this shadowed area here. I'm going to lower the size of my brush. And then go into the section underneath here and just drag across that. As you See, it's created a new pen. I can then highlight that area that shows the areas that's selected. I can then go into the shadow areas here of the adjustment and lighten up those shadows. I can even increase that exposure to brighten up that section there as well. I can then click on the show pins to hide or reveal those pins to see the overall effect, as well as clicking on the preview to see the before and after.